This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by Text Expander by Smile, my most used productivity utility. Find out more and download a free demo at TextExpander.com. Mac Voices is at Pepcom and CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, every show I do at home, you probably see one of my older model Fujitsu ScanSnap scanners over my shoulder. And I'm here today to find out what's new with Fujitsu because, Bernie, as we were talking earlier, Mac OS Catalina has created some problems for legacy scanners. It certainly has, and so Fujitsu, we try to address it in a couple of different ways. One with our newer products, the ScanSnap product family of products definitely works with the new Catalina OS. And the iX1500 is our flagship product uh, in that family. So we can support up to four devices per scanner. And here I'm going to show you, we'll just scan directly from the scanner to my, my iOS phone. And you'll see now we have to be more than just USB ready. We have to be cloud ready so we can scan to multiple cloud repositories, including to our phone. <laughs> I like it. Now, I, I do have to ask, how is that communicating? Is that a Bluetooth connection? This is over Wi-Fi. That's Wi-Fi. Wi okay. But it is going from device to device. It's not going to any service that you provide. Exactly over. We do have a cloud-based service. So if you wanted to scan these documents uh, to Google Docs or to uh, Microsoft OneDrive or Amazon S3, we have that service as well. that will allow you to scan through our cloud service to your repository. So we can connect either directly through USB or through a transient cloud service. I ask only because security has to be part of every conversation now. And so, you know, if, if I'm scanning, if I'm scanning my electric bill, it probably doesn't matter. If I'm scanning my tax return, it might. Yeah. And so that's why we made the option. You can scan over USB, or you can scan over Wi-Fi, or you can scan through a cloud service. So it should be your choice based upon what you're scanning. And each of your devices can talk to the scanner over a different method. So if I go to replace my old scanner with this, same thing, load the documents in as, as I normally would. If I just need to scan it to the Mac and have it be cataloged and, and yeah. archived, same thing. Scan to email, scan to folder, scan to cloud, however you want to scan, whatever you want to scan. And again, the nice thing is through our display, we can set up, but you can set up buttons to say, hey, I want these documents to go directly to this location. So it's really two touch scanning. Select your repository, select your destination, and touch the scan button. I know we're all moving toward paperless, but we still get so much paper, and this is such a great way to, if at the very least, get that paper stuck in a basement somewhere where I don't have to deal with it and have everything searchable. Yeah, you know, in, in all honesty, the least, the, when we have less paper, the paper that we have becomes more important. And so we're finding that really the need for scanning hasn't diminished. We all thought the, the, the fallacy of the paperless office from 20, 30 years ago, it really hasn't delivered. Now we have to make that paper work for us, and products like the ScanSnap really make that paper work for us. And again, it is probably high value paper, much more valuable than it was in days past. Yeah, that, that's a real good point, and I hadn't thought about it that way, but you're right, that those documents that I want, I, I archive, are probably much more important than the ones that you know I used to just keep in folders. Absolutely. And now we can organize them better too. That's the other thing. Before we used to scan PDF to a folder and then you had to, was it a searchable PDF? How do I find it? Well now with the modern scanners, it's much easier to find documents than it was in the past as well. Now you mentioned the cloud service. What kind of pricing is there for that? And again, what kind of security is there? Yeah, so we, we don't store your documents. Our cloud service is no charge. And it's really a, uh, a portal to your other cloud repositories. So we've had a number of people write connectors to our cloud service, like uh, HubDocs, like Intuit. So we can actually manage that connection to your application in our cloud service. We scan, you scan, it goes to your Fujitsu cloud account, and then goes immediately to your repository. That way you don't have to manage those connections, we can manage them all globally for you. Very nice, very nice. What, well, I mean, I don't know if there's other things we want to talk about, but I definitely want to ask about the price and availability yeah. of this. Uh, so this is our flagship product. In fact, just this uh, January 2nd, we announced uh, a special of $399 uh, around the tax season. So you, this was normally about a, a $495 scanner. Today you can get it at most of our retailers for $399. There's one in my future. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
Do we have anything else new that would be of interest to the Mac Voices audience? Yeah, Chuck, I want Elizabeth over here to show you our newest keyboards. We just announced these in the U.S. today, and they are PC and Mac compatible. There are HH keyboards, so people doing serious development work, it's the keyboard for them. It's a it's electromechanical keyboard, uh, and if you actually type on it, you'll see why why it's so exciting. Okay, and so. Uh, well, I'll, t I'll type on it, but what, what is it that makes it special for developers? So it was really designed by Fujitsu's uh, development team, Oracle development team. And so if you look at it, nice small profile, nice curved keyboard, and an amazing touch. There's no way a typist is going to outrun the keyboard. Uh, so uh, electric capacitive key switches. So it's not like a membrane keyboard where you can outrun it or get ahead of it. You really know when you're typing, and again, it has a memory to keep up with you as you're typing. Bluetooth connectivity. Bluetooth or USB, so you can support up to four devices, hot switchable, and one USB device. So really, five devices, four over Bluetooth and one over USB. From one keyboard. From one keyboard. Very nice. Uh, is this available now? Just started shipping today. And what kind of price for this? You know, they range in price from about 249 to about three and a quarter. For a quality keyboard, that's not bad. For a quality keyboard, absolutely. That's great. Great stuff from Fujitsu, absolutely. Check um, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the website. Oh, uh, fcpa.com is the easiest way to find us. FCPA, Fujitsu Computer Products of America, dot com. Bernie, thanks so much for the time. Chuck, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Folks, we'll have more from Pepcom and CES in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode you will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.